So now that we have our character rigged and have made sure all the bones move as they should, we can now work on the legs. When we move the right leg, we can see that it does not bend with the shin bone at the knee. To fix this, we need to add a mesh to our right leg attachment. In our tree view, we can navigate to our right leg bone. Under the right leg bone, we have the right leg slot. And under the slot, we have the skin placeholder. And under the skin placeholder, we have our right leg attachment. We click on the attachment. Next, we hit mesh and we click the edit mesh button. We make sure the deform checkbox is selected. And now we can start creating a mesh for the right leg. In the edit mesh toolbox, we click the create button and now we can start to draw out a simple mesh for the leg. Now while drawing the mesh, you need not worry about it not coming out perfect the first time. Remember, the more meshes you draw, the better you will get at it. Once we have a simple mesh ready, we can start deleting the extra vertices on the edges. When drawing meshes, we need to pay attention to how our assets will bend. For example, this leg will bend at the knee, so we have to make sure that the area around the knee has more vertices. This will ensure a smoother curve as the leg bends. We also need a few extra vertices where the foot bends and with that we can press space to apply the changes. Now with our right leg attachment selected, we click on weights. Remember, if you don't see the weights window, you can click the view button here and select weights from the menu. Now in our weights menu, we click the bind button and we select the three right leg bones one by one and hit space to bind these bones to our right leg attachment. Now we wait a few seconds as spine automatically calculates how our bones will be bound to the right leg's mesh. Once the calculations are complete, we can check to see how our leg behaves when we rotate these bones. Our leg seems to be bending pretty well at the knee. We can also ro rotate our foot bone to check how the foot is bending. I think the results are more than acceptable in this case. I just pressed Ctrl Z to return the leg to its original position and now that we have our right leg's mesh fully functioning, we can move on to the left leg. You can see since there is no mesh on the leg at the moment, when we rotate the bones, the leg does not bend at the knee. To add a mesh to this leg, we go to the tree view and navigate to our left leg attachment. Then we click the mesh checkbox and hit the edit mesh button. We make sure that the deformed checkbox is selected and hit the create button. As before, we start drawing our mesh one vertex at a time. You can see I am adding several vertices around the knee where the left leg will bend. If you want to see this attachment in isolation as you draw your mesh, you can uncheck the deformed option. Now I don't want to add too many vertices to this mesh and make it over complicated. However, I do have to make sure that there are enough vertices around the areas where our mesh will bend. As you get more practiced with making meshes, you'll develop a better understanding of how complicated or simple your meshes ought to be. It's a process that involves a lot of trial and error. Once you are happy with your mesh, you can delete the outside edges. If you come across an outside edge that you aren't able to delete, just click the create tool again and draw over your inner edges until they change their color to yellow. Now you will be able to delete the outside edges without a problem. With that, our mesh is ready. We can hit space to commit the changes. And just as before, with our left leg attachment selected, we go to the weights panel, click the bind button, and one by one, select the three left leg bones, and hit spacebar. Now we wait some more as spine calculates how these three bones will affect the left leg's mesh. Once the calculations are complete, we can rotate the left shin bone to see how our leg behaves. 
you can see that it bends very nicely at the knee. When I rotate the left foot bone, however, I feel that it needs some work. To improve the foot's bend, we need to fine tune how the foot bone influences the left leg's mesh. To do that, we go to our toolbox and click on weights. Next, we select our left leg attachment and then we select the left foot bone, which you can see has turned green. We then select these nodes individually and click and drag to adjust the influence our foot bone will have on them. While you make these adjustments, it's always helpful to zoom out and make sure everything looks okay from a distance. You can rotate the bone once again to see if there are any jarring issues that need to be ironed out. There is always room for improvement, however in my case, I feel I am looking too closely at the foot. I know if I zoom out, the foot's movements will look just fine. And with that, both the legs have a mesh and are bound to their bones. That's it for this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next part when we talk about IK constraints.